Hey guys and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show how we can delete elements based on principal strains using USDFLD subroutine. Note that this video is in accord with my other video, Element Deletion, using UMAT. If you haven't watched it yet, uh, please take a look uh, for more information. So I've assumed a 3D uh, shape, as you can see it here, made of steel, having uh, one field with two values. Uh, value one uh, for the typical uh, steel uh, properties and value zero for the reduced stiffness of the material. Also, uh, since we are using the user defined field, I've uh, enabled the user defined field option and I have two solution dependent state variables and uh, the number uh, two state v uh, will uh, delete elements based on uh, the principal strain and i'm going to show how we can uh, delete elements uh, based on that so uh, our body uh, will be under shear loading as you can see it here and i have used uh, full integration elements uh, with uh, linear hex elements for this example. So taking a look at the USCFL subroutine, the highlighted parts are the typical header of the subroutine. I introduced two parameters, critical strain and EPS. The critical strain uh, is the limit uh, for my calculations and EPS is the maximum principal strain. If I want to get the maximum principal strains using Abacus utilities, I'm going to use the get VRM utility and I can easily get the principal strains using uh, this uh, call. This option will give me an array that contains the principal strains starting from the minimum ending up with the maximum principal strain. Since I want to use the maximum, uh, I'm going to assign the array number three to the EPS value. Note that the critical strain as I'm using it here, point two is a, a trial value here. But if you want to simulate a real test, you can uh, define this value based on the experimental results. So I'm going to use the state V number one for visualization purposes. This line indicates that whether the EPS value is higher than the critical strain. So concretely, if the value is lower than one, then we are going to use the field one equal one variation, which is the typical steel properties according to this line. And if the value state V number one is higher than one, which means that the maximum principal strain has exceeded the critical strain. So I'm going to use the uh, field bond equals zero to uh, make uh, some reduction in the stiffness matrix. Also, I assumed a uh, state V number one uh, higher than three, uh, simulating that uh, the EPS value is far more greater than the critical strain. The goal here is to simulate the fracture in elements. So if uh, this value is far more greater than the critical strain, I want to delete elements based on state V number two. We know that if the state V number two uh, equals uh, one, then the elements are activated. And if the value is equal to number 
zero, then the elements are deleted. So uh, this highlighted part means that if uh, there aren't uh, deleted elements, if the state V number one is higher than three, then you should delete that element. So this uh, wraps up our subroutine and if we want to see the results we can take a look at the results here so if i want to show you the results you can see that the elements are going to be deleted as you can see it here uh, note that since we are using uh, a reduction in stiffness matrix, especially in the uh, elastic stiffness module, then some elements are going to be stretched before they are deleted, as you can see it in this result. This concludes our video. If you find this video useful, please support me by liking and subscribing to my channel. Take care.